Uh, hello everybody. Um, so in this video we're just going to look at kind of a simple um, tutorial on how to use uh, CMake with Fortran. Um, so just to start uh, we have our program called myprogram.f90 and it's going to use two uh, different modules, my module 1 and my module 2. And we can just go ahead and take a look at the program. So it's just a simple program. Um, and it's going to call these two functions, quadratic roots and power function. And we can just take a look at the, mo the modules. Uh, module 1 has the quadratic roots subroutine. And uh, module 2 has this uh, power function subroutine. Okay, so just some kind of simple uh, test functions. And really the only thing to note, the, de the details aren't that important, just note that we are using um, these two modules in the uh, main file, in the main program. Okay, so we want to use um, CMake to compile, um, to compile this code and run it. Okay, so um, generally the proper way to uh, do CMake is to have a source folder, a source directory, and a build directory. Okay, so we're going to make a build directory, and we're going to make a source directory. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll move our F90 files into the source file, source directory. Um, and what we want to do is we need to make a CMake lists. Um, a CMake lists file, and it has to be in that uh, it's case sensitive, so it needs to be just like that. Okay, and we're going to edit this. So, um, the first thing you need to do when you're making one of these CMake lists uh, files is we want to do CMake minimum required. Okay, and we just need to give it the minimum version. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and give it uh, version 3.5. Um, no reason in particular. Um, I'm not sure which one really matters, but uh, this one seems to work fine. And just as a reference, um, I am using this version, so 3.21. Okay, so once we have the version, um, we can give it a name. Uh, I'll just call it my project. It's not really important. Um, but what is important is this next one, which is we need to enable language. Okay, so we're just going to give it Fortran. And, um, you know, what a nice way to, to organize your, your project is to actually do this thing here. So we're going to do set CMake runtime output and directory. And we're going to give it this directory location, so CMake binary dir. Um, this will be the folder where we are going to run the CMake command. Okay, um, and that for us will be the build directory. So in the build directory, we're going to give it the um, directory run. And so what that's going to do is it'll create a folder called run. And when we compile our program, the executable will be placed into that run folder. Okay, it's kind of a nice convenient way to um, structure our project. So uh, the next thing is we want to include a subdirectory. So subdirectory, and we're giving it the folder, which is source, okay? So this is our CMake lists folder, and what we want to do is we need to go into the source folder, the source directory, and we're also going to make another CMake lists. Okay, so we'll make another CMake lists.txt, and we're going to edit that. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to include directories. Okay, and so we're going to give it CMake binary dir. Um, source and this one. Okay, so uh, I'm not actually sure why we need to include this. I'm not an expert in CMake, I should clarify, um, but this is what I found works. 
Um, so in some way, it's going to include the the source files. Okay. Um, and the next thing we can do is just add the executable, and we can we're gonna give the executable name, so my program, and then we'll give it the different uh, F90 files that we are going to be using to compile the program. Okay, so that's these ones here. And we close it off, and that should be it. Okay, so we'll write this. Okay. And in order to um, compile our code, we first want to enter into the build directory. And we run cmake uh, up a directory. So we're going to do cmake dot dot. We should see this, and everything looks like uh, it worked. And if you hit ls, um, you'll see a bunch of stuff was generated in the build directory. Um, but while we're still in the build directory, we just want to type make. Okay, and there we see it, it compiled our program, and our program is called my program. And we can enter into the run directory, and there's our code. And if we run it, um, this is what the code does. We get the roots of this quadratic equation, and then do some kind of just simple algebra. Okay, so that is it for the basic, um, just the basic setup for some CMake code. Uh, but you may have, you may want to structure your code in a different way. You might have like more st more files and you're trying to organize all this. So another way to do this is to actually add another, um, maybe a different directory. Let's say other source. Okay. So we'll make another source file. And we'll, we'll say we're going to put our modules in this source file. So we're going to move the my module so these my module files into this uh, other source directory okay um, and now if we go to source okay, we just have our my program here but we can edit uh, the cmake list here and we're going to do file this file command we're going to type globe recurse my modules and we're going to again say cmake binary dir. And we're going to go up a level, other source. So this will be up from the build directory and then into the other source and star.f90. Okay, so this means we're going to um, include all of these f90 files that are in that other source directory that we made. And I believe the global recurse actually will also add all subdire subdirectories of this other source um, directory, but we're specifically giving all the F90 files. Okay, so we need to change this add executable. So we're gonna get rid of these F90 files. We're gonna keep this my program, um, but now we've, we've put these uh, F90 files into this um, my modules, okay? So um, we can include that here. So we just add it in here, and it's going to include all of the um, uh, the F90 files that were in this other source directory. OK, and that's it. So we can uh, save it. And if we want to just reset everything, we'll remove the build folder. Okay, we can remake the build folder. Okay, now so we're starting again from scratch. Go into the build folder and um, just do cmake dot dot. Okay, and everything seemed to compile. We can make. It made just fine. We go into the run directory and we can run our code. Okay, and that's it. Um, again, I, you know, I just use cmake to to get what i want done i'm by no means an expert but uh maybe this um would help some of you out there if you're getting stuck trying to get cmake working okay but that's all uh thanks for watching